Ready. This is Jordan Smotherman with Strong Swift Durable, and I want to talk about how to work through a stamina session today. In a lot of ways, the stamina sessions are really uh, the easiest to understand how to to work through because we're going to give you limited equipment and we're going to determine the time. The hard thing to actually execute is that you will be working consistently for 60 minutes straight. So there isn't really a built-in period um, in most of the stamina circuits that we do. However, a lot of times uh, we will use a certain format of the circuit that will allow you some rest. And I'll show you an example of that. Right now, let's just look at this first example here where you'll start out by starting a running clock and then for minute zero to 30, so for the first 30 minutes, you'll do these four movements um, as many times as you can. Now, when I say that, uh, you're not going to be sprinting really, really hard because you've got another 30 minutes to do. So this isn't just a short sprint where you're going to take a long rest afterward. This is a grind. We want you working at a consistent, brisk pace that allows you to uh, continue to work. So if you're working so hard that you have to that you hit muscle failure or something like that, you, and you can't continue, then you're starting to lose the training effect. The purpose of training stamina is to increase your recoverability and to build um, a lot of volume into your legs to handle large volumes of work. So uh, in this circuit, um, what you'll notice is that there's two sandbag movements and then a step up movement onto a 20 inch box. And then, so you'll work through this um, as, as many times as you can and then you'll come down and you'll immediately start this next part. Now the reason that we know you'll be able to immediately start this next part as long as you, uh, you kind of know the session is because the equipment required here is the exact same as the equipment required here. So by not adding any more equipment or by having you use the same equipment and do different movements, then we can ensure that you can continue moving. So in this one, the equipment that we need is a sandbag again and then a 20 inch box, just like up here. So now you can just consistently work through. And you know, it may take you a second to check what the second circuit is, um, or to look up on a, on a board or whatever you have it written on, um, or if you have it in a notebook, it may take you a second to look, at that, uh, to look at what the movements are, but as soon as you look at them, you can get right back into work. So we're talking about in, 60, in a 60 minute session, maybe having you not working for about two minutes, just while you sort of familiarize yourself with the next circuit. So a couple things in general that we want you to pay attention to whenever you're looking at a stamina session is simply the circuit duration. In this case, I've got two 30 minute circuits and then also the equipment. So we will typically make this as easy as we can for you guys. Two 30 minute um, circuits is really easy to remember. Um, you can set a timer if you want. Whenever it beeps, you're gonna switch and do the next circuit. Um, so it's, it's just easy to, for you to maintain your, your own equipment. Um, the other popular formats that we'll use, use are uh, like three 20 minute circuits. So it would be one, two, three, but it would say minute zero to 20, minute 20 to 40, minute 40 to 60. Or we would use uh, uh, four 15 minute circuits. That's typically the way we'll do it. Occasionally we may do something like two 15 minute circuits and then a 30 minute circuit, but you get the idea. Um, you just need to pay attention to it and, and understand how long you're going to be working through each one. The second thing to notice is equipment. As much as, as is possible for us um, to provide you with good design, we want to use the same equipment. The reason why I, I tell you to, to look at it is because here you know that you need two pieces of equipment. For example, in this one you're going to need a sandbag and you're going to need a 20 inch box. Now if you just kind of look at how these are set up, you don't necessarily need a ton of real estate. But um, you want to set your, your area up um, in a way that you can uh, continuously work through without having to move your equipment from one part of the gym to the other part of the gym. Um, and again, in the design, we'll try to make this pretty clear to you how we want you to work through it with limited uh, real estate if you're in a busy gym. Other, um, other types of equipment that we'll have you use is just a barbell loaded to a single weight. So something like a barbell at 75 pounds is a pretty popular weight that we like to use. Um, because you can do a lot of movements with that. You can do pretty much every movement um, with that weight, or at least for male athletes. For female athletes, it would be 45 pounds. Let me, let me add that. Um, 
So, so you can work through all of the movements that we program with this weight. It's going to get in that sort of volume, but it's a, it's a working volume. It's not something, we're not training strength here. We're just training your ability to consistently work for a long period of time. Get as much volume in basically as we can um, in that period of time without hitting muscle failure. So as long as you understand uh, how you're going to work through each one, the circuit duration and the equipment, you're going to have a really good understanding of how to work through a stamina uh, session. Now, there are some other formats that we like to use that, that give you um, some rest, but structure the time uh, really explicitly. For example, we could say, uh, we could have you do a circuit here um, where, you know, you say, we say something like every two minutes, do one barbell complex at 45, 65 pounds, something like that. For, I'm sorry, so it'd be uh, every two minutes um, uh, for 30 minutes, something like that. So you're going to work through 15 rounds of this, and you're going to do a barbell complex um, uh, every two minutes. So a barbell complex is going to take uh, an athlete who's familiar with the movements just about um, a minute to do. It's six reps of everything, and, you, and the barbell just moves up and around your body, so it's really quick. So if it takes you about a minute, then you're going to get a minute of rest as you wait for that timer to come back around to the next two minutes. And because we're telling you how long to do it for, for 30 minutes, you know exactly when to stop. So here's an example of something where we still really structure the time, so you need to pay attention to, to the duration, but, uh, but it's in a different format than this, this run, what we call the running clock format. Uh, so... Here's an example of a stamina session and just sort of how you want to flow through it, what to pay attention to, uh, to be successful in executing the, the stamina session. <laughs>